All right, YouTube, today I have the iPhone 4th generation. This is a, a prototype, or this could be the final product, who knows, and I'm going to give you an overview of what this uh, unreleased exclusive um, iPhone that was provided to me, uh, what it is capable of. Um, I'll start off in the box, very similar to the 3G and 3GS box. Apart from the fact they don't have any signs to distinguish what kind of model this is, i.e. 3G or 3GS, so you're in for a surprise when you get this. And you here we have some plastic. Looks like Apple have had a fight with Greenpeace. Uh, they've gone back to their non-environmental friendly packaging. Some earphones. Looks like uh, cheapish. Right enough, I've not used them so I can't comment on them, but hey. And this is what everyone's been asking for, uh, a removable battery. Uh, Apple has finally listened to us and they've given us a battery to, um, you know, so that you can carry two or three about. One runs out, put the other one in and so on. And the last but not least is the instruction manual. This instruction manual, uh, long story cut short, is probably the worst manual I've seen and there's so many mistakes in this. And the, the obvious one being... Fail. Can't even spell quick, but um, there's numerous. I was going to actually highlight every single one that I can find, but it's too much, and uh, I guess I'm not that sad. And this is what Apple have also. Shame, they've been banning uh, applications that are 18 plus, and they've been promoting it in their marketing uh, literature. Um, I guess we can hold. Is it Tim Cook or Phil Schiller that is head of marketing for Apple? Uh, he should be um, pulled, up, pulled up for this. So this is your fourth generation manual. And not wasting any time, let's look at the iPhone fourth generation. Um, this is the phone. A smaller screen. And check this out. Ta -da! They've given a spare battery, so you've got two batteries. Always kind of apple -y. And what you've got an option of doing is t dual SIM cards, and it actually works. Um, so you can put two SIM cards in and um, you can dial or make calls from whichever SIM you want to make calls from. So in essence, um, if you're a traveller, a business traveller, this is ideal for you. And Apple has obviously catered for their biggest target, which is business travellers. I guess, I hope you guys are smelling the sarcasm. And... Some people have been moaning that the touch screen is not good and again Apple have listened to us. They have given us a stylus. Finally it is here. Tiny silver pen and um, yeah this is probably the best Apple product uh, yet. So let's put this phone on and there is no power button. You have to push the home button to turn it on. Watch this. jokes <laughs> and here we go the phone is on and uh, so there we have don't think you can see this but over here it's saying something in Chinese but it's not picking up the language codes and it says insert sim card to which I haven't got and I've only got one sim card in so let's you've really got to press it down they've done away with the OLED screen you've literally got to just punch your way through this and you're gonna see it in a second so let's go into phone and uh, looks like they've kept the Chinese customer or the Chinese market greatly in this. Uh, I can't under I can't obviously read or understand Chinese, so it's a bit difficult for the average customer to use this phone. Uh, let's go into settings. And as you can see the software is very good. This is OS 4.0. And there we go, finally inside it. Let's uh, use the stylus that they've kindly provided. It would help if the language, whoops, it's just moving by itself, which is always good. And if I want to, hey, there, there we go, back into the home screen without touching a button. Uh, iPhone OS is fantastic, as you can see. Let's go into clock. I'm just going to take a guess. And... 
it's detecting China on the map. It's got a plus here pointing to China. And uh, nice to see it's got GPS uh, in this phone. Not, and it's just turned off by itself. Uh, this is exclusive look at the iPhone 4th generation coming out, coming to a Apple store near you let's go into text what on earth is this? right let's go down let's go into this what is this? ok this is something to do with dual sim cards hey hey back to the main screen without touching a button now let's check the camera out see how good the camera actually is so let's take this box here we go and first hand I think it looks like a 1.2 megapixel camera oh it doesn't say in the manual as to what the megapixel is but just by telling from this it's um, very similar if not worse than the 3G camera um, Let's go in a bit and see. Can it make videos? No, it can't make videos. So, after much demand, I know a lot of people were disappointed that the 3GS had a, cam a video camera inside it. They've decided to go take the video camera off and go back to the 3G camera and make it slightly worse. And um, let's see what else this has got. So you've got MSN, which we all need. You've got Bluetooth and you might even find a virus uh, as a bonus uh, in this phone somewhere do not do not connect this up to your computer if you do, may God be with you let's go up ahead uh, stock yeah, that's a video recorder here was I wrong? I'm just spotted up there VDO recorder so let's it's not working, it's slightly buggy. Uh, again, it's in a different language, so I do not understand what it is telling me. Uh, what else have we got here? And it's just opening up random applications, which is what you want in a phone without even doing it. So it's, um, it's um, pretty much uh, sensing or looking at your brain and saying, OK, I think you want to open this up. Uh, let's go into World Clock. Tap it a few times. I think we've been here and it's just turned off and this is what we need let's go into have you got any other menus? oh yes we have a few games on it Mr Bones E.T. Ball Robot Rebellion let's go into Robot Rebellion please install the Java and it's exited the application fantastic Mr Bones again it's the games don't work so you know, OS 4.0 is doing fine. The iPhone 4th generation, as you can see, is uh, a fantastic, a magical, a revolutionary product by Apple. And, um, nah, I'm just joking. If you haven't already realised, this is a fake uh, iPhone that I picked up from Shanghai. And uh, I picked it up for £30. And uh, I thought I'd just bring it back with me and do a small test. It's not too bad. Uh, and that the only bonus feature in this is the fact that it can hold dual SIM cards, which is good when it works. Apart from that, as you can see, the OS itself is the worst operating system uh, I've ever come across. It's buggy. It's. I won't be surprised if there's a virus on this, um, seriously. I haven't connected up to my computer. I don't think it would do anything if I do connect up to my computer in the first place. Um, I've yet to make a phone call on this. I have received a phone call on this and... Uh, it's terrible. Um, the other person on the other side can't hear you, or sometimes it will just cut off. But um, I guess you can't really complain for you know thirty pound. The thing is, I could have got it cheaper because I got it from a market, and uh, it was a big you know five hundred uh, stall market. So when you go to another market, they tell you, oh, "We'll give it to you for cheaper." So, I mean, you can probably pick this up for £10, £20 if you do hard bargaining. But I was sort of running late and I just paid what the guy told me first. Um, but yeah, this was exclusive look at the iPhone 4G. Worldwide availability uh, 
tomorrow. Uh, and um, the 3GS was priced at 440. Well, this is priced at 20. Yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, do comment, rate, and um, subscribe if you like the video. Uh, I've got a ton of other videos on my channel. Uh, and uh, whatever you think this video deserves, if it deserves a one star, rate it one. If it deserves two, three, four, five, up to yourself. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to join me on uh, my website or have a look at my website, iglassregion.com. I'm also on twitter.com slash i6glassregion. And I post uh, a few comments on there on a daily basis, so you can stay in touch that way. But um, thanks for tuning in. If you've maybe come across this uh, whilst on a trip to China, or maybe you've bought one from eBay, thinking it was an original one, but they sent you this one, um, do let me know how you're getting on and what your personal opinion of this is. Uh, some of you are maybe thinking, well, what would you rate this phone? Uh, if I had an option, I would rate it minus one, but uh, I wouldn't rate it because it's a it's not a phone that you really want to have with you. And just before we go, let's put the phone off and show you. So we're going to put the phone off. That's a sound that we all need, putting our phones off. Thanks for tuning in. Tuning in. Eyeglassweeding.com. Cheers.